Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. I have honesty and communication. So we're needing to speak up, be honest about how we're feeling, how we're seeing a situation. Communication is everything. Be honest about how we're feeling or seeing something here. Reconsider. This has just came out for Gemini. You might be dealing with a Gemini. Choose a new direction. So you're going to have to reconsider your options here after being honest or somebody being honest with you. And you're going to choose a new path. It's time to take a new path here. We'll see what this is about. The Ace of Swords. The Three of Wands. The King of Wands. The lover's card. The central energy is the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. The beautiful Six of Pentacles. So there's there's uh, progress being made here, and the Seven of Wands. Now what we've got here is we've got feeling left out in the cold. Now it could be that you're in a situation where you're having to be honest about something or somebody's having to be honest with you, but whatever's happened here, it's, you need to communicate. We don't want to be focusing and coming from a place of lack here. We want to be focusing because that just brings more lack. It's a law of attraction in the universe. We want to be focusing on what we can build. So these people, if they look up, there's refuge. So if you're feeling disappointed and left out in the cold, it might be time to be honest about something and speak up for yourself. Now, through doing that, it might take you down another path, but it's going to give you the clarity. This is a communications card as well. It's being clear-headed. Spirit is trying to bring you into this beautiful Ace of Swords energy. And this is about clarity and communication. That's what this is. So being honest and communicating. Um, you might be feeling as if you've been put out and disappointed here, but we're not going to focus on that. It's time to deal with it. It's time to speak up and communicate and decide which path you're going to go down to focus on the pentacles rather than what you're feeling disappointed over. So you'll have a lot of success from doing this. You can see the wreath, the crown. You're going to come out on top. So time for honest communication here. And it's about looking to your future. What you want to, what you're passionate about, how you want to go forward now after feeling left out in the cold. Now, this could be in any area of your life. It could be in your work life, your relationships, your home life. It could be with your finances, whatever it may be. Now, if you've not got enough money and you're thinking, goodness, I can't pay my bills, we might want to go down another way, have a new financial plan. We might want to communicate with our debtors or go to a bank manager and get the clarity and information we need so we can focus on how we're going to rebuild and restructure things. Just an example. Like I say, it could be in your work life. If, you're, if it's not working out for you in your work environment, it's time to look towards your future and be honest with yourself in the universe or people round about you about what you need to do here to, go, to stop this disappointing energy. Because like I say, fives are change. So you're going to have to choose a new direction here. It's reconsidering your options after feeling disappointed and left out in the cold and looking towards the future. Now, when we're prepared to do that, we get the clarity we need. We will start to move forward towards calmer waters. So it's coming from choppy waters to calmer waters. And this is spirit in the boat trying to help you move you forward. So it's about mental clarity, like I say, deciding how we're going to go forward to move on towards greater stability and things that we're going to enjoy doing. Now, Spirit's saying that you're in a great position here when you've decided to do that. When you speak up, you will move forward and you will be in a position to look at your future and create whatever it is that you're passionate about. Now, this is creative energy. So you've got to think about this. Now, sometimes we can see him in the other deck. There's a boat and he's standing on the shore. And, you know, we need to reconsider our options here because we want to get on that boat and we want to move forward. And what Spirit's saying is when you have the clarity and you're honest and you communicate what it is that you're wanting and you choose your direction, you're going to be in a great position. You've got the upper hand and you'll be in a great position to take on any challenges that might come along life's path. Because even when we're going towards what we want to create, there's challenges along the path. But when it's something you enjoy and you're putting your efforts into something that's creative, that you feel you're flourishing in, then you're in a great position. You've got the upper hand in that sense. 
Now, this could be you moving towards your happiness. It's about you going towards your happiness here. Now, this could be an opportunity of a new relationship coming in because we have the lover's card. And cups are Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy. So you might want to reconsider uh, your single life. You might want to reconsider if it's somebody that's disappointed you and you thought you would never have this opportunity, it might be coming back round. So choosing a new direction and going from single life into a relationship. Uh, and being honest about your feelings or they're being honest with you. So a new relationship could come in. But this doesn't have to be romantic. It can just be, this is the idea, the old meaning of the lover's card was Gemini. And this is about choices and choosing. It's about reconsidering things and choosing to go towards your happiness will help. Now, we've got this beautiful King of Wands energy here. Now, when he looks towards his future, he invests in things where he knows that he can flourish and grow. So this could be you if there's been disappointments in your work environment, you're choosing a new direction and you could end up going into creating your own business. So reconsidering anything and with your finances, your relationships, your home environments uh, or your work life. So going towards a new business, you could be developing a new skill you have or learning a new skill or developing an existing skill. So you could be writing a book and putting it out for uh, you know, publication, putting it forward towards an editor. You could be have a song that you've written and you're putting that forward. Anything creative. You might have a talent here as well or a skill. Or it could be going towards something that you've always wanted to do. Learn something you've always wanted to learn. So a new course. And it's going to be because you're investing in yourself and you know that you're going to enjoy it. You're going to have great success with it. Definitely. Great creative energy and growth coming in. Now, this will bring, oh, no, I've done this card. This is going to bring great harmony to your life. This is here, this is great balance in every area of your life. So, you're going to find great balance within your finances through choosing a new direction. You might have to, like I say, get a financial plan, looking at that again. You're going to have good relationships. If this relationship, if it's that that you're wanting, if this is coming back or you're reconsidering someone, this is going to be a nice relationship of equal give and take. You're both putting the same amount of efforts in. No, you're not, nobody's bleeding you dry here. The same goes in your work environments. Um, you know, you're being rewarded and paid for the skills that you have. You're at one with your environment and you're enjoying the people you work with and you're enjoying your job. Now, this here, when you're in this type of energy, that you, you can only attract more of that. Definitely only attract more of that. The universe rewards you for being here because this beautiful balance, You've worked at it, you've chosen the, make, chosen the right uh, things for you and you just bring more beautiful things forward. So absolutely wonderful. Let's have a look and see what the Divine Direction is saying today. Soulmates. Soulmates are important people who teach you life lessons. They can be friends, lovers or family members. Absolutely. Heal. Heal. It's your natural gift for healing through your hands, word or actions. Now, it can be because it's about communication here. It could be somebody healing you with what they've got to say. Ask. It's okay to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. Absolutely. So you might need information here. You might need to speak to someone and reconsider your options. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.